been working out. <laughs> Hello there. I didn't see you come in. My name is Hippocrates, the founder of medicine. I'm here today to take you on a journey through the life of a medical student at Dallas University. His name, Billy Smith. And he's about to start his first shift in the emergency department as a third year clerk. So join me as we take a peek. Man. Hi, Mr. Faustine. Hi. Hi, uh, my name is Billy Smith. I'm a third year medical student and I'm working here in the emergency department tonight. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some questions? No, go right ahead. Right. So, uh, what seems to be your problem? Oh, I was out shoveling snow, and then I noticed this pain in my chest that just comes up and it goes over and down my shoulder and my arm. It's really heavy. Do you have any idea what it could be? Hmm. Ho, 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 Billy. Now let's take a trip back in time to Billy's first tutorial session as a medical student here at Dow. In tutorial, Medical students are presented with a real-life case scenario, which allows them to hone their diagnostic skills using problem-based learning in a team dynamic. So Richard McLean, a 30-year-old dog groomer, um, presents in the emergency department with a two-hour history of chest pain. He says this afternoon he was shoveling snow in his driveway, and he started to have a shooting pain from his chest down his left arm. He looks mildly distressed and is also sweating quite heavily. So, do we have any differential diagnosis? Should we go through Vindicate? Yeah. yeah we do. V. Vascular. Myocardial infarction is probably at the top of the differential. Okay. And angina. Well, Mr. Costain, there's actually a, a few things that this could be. Um, I'm worried you might have pulled a, a muscle in your chest, which wouldn't be that severe. You could have had something called a, an angina attack, or you may have actually had a, a heart attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep you here and just run some tests over the next little while. Does that yeah. sound all right? Okay. Okay. After a thorough history, Billy then proceeds to the physical exam, which he uses to further refine his differential diagnosis and come up with a possible treatment plan. Your blood pressure was a little high, Mr. Costain, so I think we might have to give you some medications. What kind of medications, Billy? Well... So let's take another trip back in time to Billy's patient doctor skill sessions. He wants, to stay, that, he wants <laughs> to stay in that tachycardia for long. Guys, so you see that blood pressure right now, that's probably peak, because what's going to happen is he's having some ST changes now, so he's got some myocardial ischemia, which is affecting, it's a secondary effect on his blood pressure. You can see his blood pressure starts to drop. Well, Mr. Costain, for your chest pain, I think we're going to give you some oxygen, some nitroglycerin, and some morphine, and a little bit of aspirin. And for your high blood pressure, we're probably going to start you on a beta blocker like Patoprolol. Sounds great, Billy. Mm. Captivating. Just a few hours later, Billy returns to Mr. Costain with the lab results. Hi, Mr. Costain. Uh, your lab results came back, and the good news is you did not have a heart attack. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a relief, yeah. And uh, we, we've noticed that uh, we think you've just had a, a quick bout of angina, which was kind of surprising to us because you, you don't have any of the risk factors that we would usually expect for that. Uh, do you have any ideas what could have brought that on? Well, my dog Fraggles died the other day. She was a beautiful golden chihuahua. She ran in the street and got hit by some punk kid in a Honda Civic. And how does that make you feel? I'm just so sad and lonely. That dog meant everything to me. I can see this is pretty hard for you. It's just so nice to get this off my chest. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, when you leave today, we'll make a follow-up. You can come back and see your doctor in a couple of weeks and we'll check and see how you're doing, all right? Thanks so much, Billy. Touching. The physician's role in the healthcare team can mean many things. Physicians are largely diagnosticians, combining information obtained from the patient history, the physical exam, and diagnostic tests, such as labs and imaging, to establish a complete picture 
on what is troubling the patient. When a diagnosis is determined, the physician is only one of the many key members involved in the treatment process. Physicians make evidence-based recommendations for treatment. They also counsel patients through difficult decisions, prescribe appropriate medications, and provide insight into the various aspects of disease and illness. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this little journey through the life of a medical student here at Dalhousie University, and that you've learned a little bit more about our faculty. Until next time, fare thee well, and Godspeed.